birthday, use the pain. Don't waste it. When you have pain, use it. I don't think I've ever had it where someone didn't cha start changing what they were doing. And it's okay. Like, it's fine. I know they're going to do it. But sometimes they do it so drastically, I have to like go like, all right, like this isn't, we, you got to do this over. Like I have to, you know, and, and the reason they do that is just by simply be, by tracking some of their behaviors to become aware of what they're doing. And you know, since your brain is designed to fix errors, when you become aware of that, your brain goes, okay, uh, you probably shouldn't eat five donuts this morning. Maybe just have one, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like it, it starts signaling changes on a logical level as well as an emotional level. Right. It starts earmarking those neurological pathways to change when you go to sleep that night because you're realizing, wait a second, there's a flaw here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, Moff, Moff just donated a hundred bucks. <laughs> Thanks, Moff. I was totally joking. Moff with the hundred dollars super chat. You should send it to the direct donation link because I only get seventy bucks of this because we got to pay oh, Nazi tube. Yeah, Nazi tube. Moff's uh, the best dude. <laughs> thanks, Moff. Uh, he says, "Got to jump, fellas." Put, Paul, talk to you soon. MLD. Thanks for the kicking ass this Friday. Cheers. Call me back Friday, Moff. Call me back Friday. Well, I'll give you another weekly ass kicking for this. <laughs> and so, so yeah, so. Um, so just tracking can make you act aware. It puts in your reticular activating system, that frontal lobe of your brain, yeah. um, what's going on. And then your brain starts going, wait a second, maybe we need to fix some things. So sometimes simply just, here's a technique you guys can do if it's something that, if it, if it doesn't work, of course. I mean, I say doesn't work. I mean, if it's not getting the results as rapidly as you'd like, you book a session. But think of if someone has anxiety, let's say over a breakup. What happens is their tendency is to have ruminating thoughts to spin and overanalyze, 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 because this is a danger, it's a trauma, and your brain is now rewarding itself for the rumination, all right? So terrible. It's, right. So terrible. Awful feeling. <laughs> it's very awful. So what, what I recommend someone does is they simply start tracking how often they're having these thoughts, mm. and when they come up, just, just note it, and then go, all right, I'm going to deal with that later, mm. and then go to go back to what you're doing, you take those distressed feelings. And it was what a, uh, an old uh, tactical firearms trainer told me actually is, you know, in special operations community, he always would say, use the pain, don't waste it. When you have pain, use it, you know, so those distressed feelings, then you put it towards whatever you're doing, whether it's your workout that you're in the middle of when you had the thought or your, your business or whatever, you start putting it towards bettering yourself, but just recognize what the thought is, note it, and then go back to work. Now, if you still are distressed and messed up, you can go, okay, I'm going to give myself two minutes or I'll give myself five minutes. Allow yourself to ruminate and think about that for that time. And then you say, all right, the time's up. Put a time constraint on it. I'll deal with this later. And you go back to work. If you tell your brain, stop thinking about it, don't have emotions. Your brain says, no, no, you have to. This is dangerous. And then it, 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 you get your brain pushes back on that those signals you actually will fight you and make those distress signals happen harder but if you basically consciously say we'll deal with this later then your brain goes okay we recognize the danger we'll deal with it later and it allows you to then compartmentalize okay now the dealing with it later is simply going for a walk on a break go for a walk for 30 minutes or an hour and keep your vision uh parallel like don't look at the ground but look up Okay. And allow yourself to think about and ruminate distress over these thoughts. Mm -hmm. EMDR was actually discovered through walking because it's the peripheral stimulation. All right. So you could go for a walk or a jog or a bike ride, keep your eyes level and allow yourself to just think about those distressing thoughts mm -hmm. and allow yourself to think, you know, things you took notes on, allow yourself to go through it. And your distress level might happen, you know, maybe some tears, maybe not. And then they sort of come down. You sort of just feel better. But you put a time constraint on it so you don't allow the ruminating to self-perpetuate and the anxiety to self-perpetuate. And so then you allow yourself to do that. And then you go back to whatever you're doing and continue that process. And the big important thing is you max your sleep out. All right. You max your workouts. That'll help your sleep. And then you max yeah. your sleep. because when you sleep, you'll process these things further and move them into those acceptance areas. So these are ways of handling this 
And it's this homework I give guys in between sessions and work that we'll do and ways of handling this distress. So that's some actionable advice for you guys listening to this. If you're handling a problem, anything that anything that causes distress, this is a way to do it. Track it, put it, you know, put tell, give yourself a compartmentalization. We'll deal with it later. Put a time constraint and then and then handle it through some physical, like some walking that or or bright bike riding, whatever that'll stimulate uh, the peripherals of your vision, which which it's, opens up your hemispheres. It's so important, guys. Guys, I got to tell you, like, if you're a man that has mental noise and then you you're always like feel like your brain is spinning and you always have like mental noise